Hello lovely people, my name is Kristen, I'm an aspiring horror author, and welcome to this week's writing vlog. So last week I wrote up until chapter 19. I'm still very much in the fun of games, and I think my goal for this week is to finish act two. So to do that, I have to write at least one chapter every day, and I think three times, two or three times this week, I'll need to write two chapters, um, which shouldn't be that hard because that is what I've been doing kind of so far, just having a couple of days a week where I feel good enough to write multiple chapters. So that is my goal. Other than that, I really don't have a whole lot going on um, other than just more doctor's appointments. Um, we're getting really close to surgery time so I have a lot of appointments I have a class this week I have two phone calls um, with the department and then I should get my actual date and so that's very exciting if you're interested in my surgery and all of that I do document it all on my TikTok, which is linked down below um, it is not writing content over there but if you're interested in me and what's going on in my life you can go ahead and give me a follow and that would be amazing so as for today, I haven't done anything yet. <laughs> it is noon and I am literally like just getting out of bed. It is the first time in literally months <laughs> I have allowed myself to sleep in and be lazy in the morning. Um, I can't even remember the last time that I slept in and was like in bed past 10. Um, so it was much needed, especially because I feel kind of like I'm getting a cold. Um, that's what happens when you spend the evening with two little kids. <laughs> and surrounded by a bunch of other people. I think there was like 17 of us over there. It was, it was a lot. Um, if you, if you missed last week's vlog, I went to a game night last night. Um, but it was very fun, but I am feeling very tired. So today my goal is to be chill and to edit my vlog from last week and then to write chapter 20. So I'm very excited to kind of get moving forward. Chapter 18 and chapter 20 were not my favorite chapters to write. So I'm looking forward to chapter 20 because uh, I know this chapter is a fun one because it is the first um, kind of realization that, ooh, my main character may be having feelings for this other character, um, which is always fun. It is kind of a slow build to this romance. Um, so I'm glad that we're finally getting there. So that is my goal for today. Um, and let's get started because I know that editing this vlog is going to take forever. So I will see you guys in a little while. and I just finished uploading the video and now I want to take a nap. <laughs> it always takes so much longer than I think it will to edit a video, but it's done. It's uploaded. Um, I am once again reminded how much I hate iMovie and need to find a different software to use, but I am, have been saying this for many, many years <laughs> and I've never done it because I've been using iMovie since seventh grade. I think that was when I first started making YouTube videos. So, um, a lot of years. Anyway, I think I'm going to take a break and maybe read or maybe walk up to the liquor store and just get out of the house for a little bit. Um, but I will see you guys in a little bit when I'm ready to write. So I took a nap and then I FaceTimed my best friend for literally like almost three hours. So it is much later, um, but I am finally ready to start writing. I'm still not feeling 100%, but um, the show must go on. So <laughs> I'm gonna jump in to start writing chapter 20. Um, I can't remember if I talked about it in this vlog or last vlog, but I'm excited for this chapter. Um, it shouldn't be very different from the first draft, so that it, also, it should also go pretty quickly. So I'm gonna jump in and update you once I'm done. I also just remembered that I still have an hour left of Laura and Kevin's live stream from yesterday um, that I wasn't able to finish because I had to go to game night. So I'm probably going to watch the replay of that while I get my chapter done.
wall <laughs> for a good 10 minutes and I have checked. There's no bugs, but she won't stop staring, which is making me feel a certain kind of way after the scene that I just wrote. Is there a demon? Is there a demon? Oh, the demon's moving. So you're just going to keep an eye on the cat and let me know if the demon is coming after me. Um, <laughs> I finished writing my chapter. I ended up writing chapter 21 as well um, because chapter 20 was pretty short. Um, I will definitely have to add a lot more to that in the next draft. Um, but I just wrote basically like the dialogue um, and I'll add a lot more description and internal monologue stuff in the next draft. And then chapter 21 has one of my favorite scenes of the whole book um, is this scene where she comes across a ghost um, as she's walking home and it is a scary, very creepy scene. Um, and it is also shortly after the moment that she realizes that she has a crush. Um, so there's a lot of emotions going on and uh, it's one of my favorites. So I just wrote those two chapters. Um, it was together, I think combined was like only 1500 words. So they're both very short chapters, which is fine at this point. And yeah, I'm gonna get out of this office because I am not okay with the way that she's staring at the wall for so long. <laughs> but I will see you guys tomorrow if this demon doesn't eat me. It is now Tuesday around 9 p.m. and I very much don't want to write. <laughs> but now I've gotten to this place where I've written every day this month and I don't want to break my streak even though I know that like logistically like this is very silly and like I'm not feeling great so I should just skip today. But I'm gonna write and if it really gets to the point where I need to stop then I will, but I don't, I don't think I, I don't think I would need to. Um, it really like logistically is like an hour of my day at most that I'm going to be spending in here working on this. And when I get into it, I'll be fine. But it very much feels like like you are going to the gym and like you, you don't want to go, but once you get there, you're fine. That's kind of how I'm feeling right now. Um, especially because the last few chapters have been hard to write um and so it's it's not the fun fast um you know loving what i'm writing that it was in the beginning of the draft but needless to say this is an interesting chapter it is not one that i've written before um it didn't exist in the last draft so it's brand new and um something big happens at the end of it so i'm gonna start writing and I'm holding on to the hope that once I start writing, I will feel better. <laughs> It is now Wednesday evening. I don't even know what time it is because my computer's not on, but my husband and I just finished dinner and we watched Old, which is an M. Night Shyamalan movie that came out in 2021, I believe. Um, it was all right. We're not the biggest M. Night Shyamalan fans, um, but this one, I saw like a clip of it on TikTok and decided I wanted to watch it. And it was it was one of the better ones of, of his that I've seen and enjoyed. So. I just finished watching that and uh, now it is time to start writing. It is storming again. Um, the weather said it was going to be uh, clear all week and <laughs> lied um, because it's currently like storming. Um, so I am in a very cozy mood and just want to um, have a chill night. So I have my purple lights on as I always do and I'm ready to get to get writing. Um, yesterday I wrote two chapters. I wrote chapters 21 and 22. Um, 22 was a 
very fun chapter to write. It was a new chapter that didn't exist in draft one and I just had a really fun time. It um, is where the main characters go into the underground for the first time and if you don't know, um, my book takes place in Sacramento and Sacramento in the 1860s um, had a really really bad flood kind of similar to what we got going on now um, but it's actually so bad that the the whole city stayed underwater for three months and there was so many lives lost that they didn't even keep an official count because they wanted to forget how many lives they lost and in order to kind of save the town because everyone and all the livestock and all the farms kept you know getting obliterated by these floods they built the new Sacramento directly on top of the original one and so there were all of these tunnels underneath Sacramento that there used to be a bunch of different entrances but they have since been kind of all closed up because they're really not safe to go down um you can go on tours to go um explore like the like the really nicely excavated um safe part um but you can't you can't go all the way through at all um and so a large portion of my book revolves around that and so my characters just went into the underground and experienced some ghosty shit and uh it also kind of made my two love interest characters kind of get pushed together in a really fun way so that one was really fun to write i really enjoyed that one and now chapter 23 is kind of the fallout from the ghosty shit that just happened in chapter 22. So it's another chapter that didn't exist in my first draft, so I'm writing it completely from scratch, which can take a really long time, or it could be really fun like yesterday. It's kind of like a 50-50 split. So I'm gonna get started and we'll see what happens. Thursday night at 1130 and I'm not gonna lie I've been really trying not to be hard on myself about when I'm finding time to write and not um, feeling like I'm doing something wrong by writing late at night um, feeling like I'm procrastinating because like at the end of the day like I am getting my chapters done I am consistently working every day so like really I'm not I'm not having a problem with it but uh I'm very tired and because I'm writing so late at night when I am getting started I am very much not wanting to write because I'm tired and um I would rather be in bed <laughs> so um struggling a little bit tonight because I am very tired and I've had a very long day but it is what it is so to recap last night I wrote 1,176 words and finished chapter 23 and chapter 23 was kind of a wild one. Um, it was not at all how I outlined it. <laughs> it uh, when I very first started writing the chapter, the kind of scene just transformed in my head into something completely different that I think worked better because it alluded to something that had been brought up in an earlier chapter that I didn't have in my outline yet. Um, they were supposed to go interview with the detective and I alluded to like oh yeah that's going to happen but I didn't have that as a scene and so that just happened in chapter 23 and um, I really liked how it went but chapter 24 I honestly have no idea what I'm writing today I have to turn to my outline and look through it um, because I because chapter 23 was different I don't know if I have to start chapter 24 in a different place but um, we'll see. Hopefully it doesn't take me too, too long because I'm sleepy. <laughs> so let's stop dilly-dallying and get to writing. So I am reading my outline and now I am more excited for chapter 24 um, because two of my main characters are about to learn something that uh, is a clue 
toward the big reveal um, that the reader hopefully won't be able to figure out um, until they find out the big reveal and then they can look back to this and be like, oh yeah, that was a clue. <laughs> and hopefully eventually I'll be able to execute that correctly. Um, but that's a problem for future Kristen. So, all right, I'm excited. Let's get started. It is now Friday night and my husband actually just left to go have a boys night which means that they are going to play video games at one person's house rather than all playing games together at their separate houses via discord. So <laughs> they're all doing that and which means I have the apartment to myself which means I just want to have a really chill cozy Friday night. I hardly ever have the apartment complete to myself um, since my husband and I both work from home and after the week that I've had I just want a chill night. <laughs> so I actually found a stash of face masks I forgot I had. Uh, so I'm gonna put a face mask on, I'm gonna write, probably gonna throw on a movie, and just have a really really chill Friday night. Um, tomorrow I have my orientation for school uh, first thing in the morning. So I have some nervous anticipation about that and so I just I just need a chill night. So I'm about to go put that on and we'll get this night started. Oh, but first, let's recap last night. So last night I finished chapter 24. I wrote about 1200 words and chapter 24 was fun. Um, I, it was, it was pretty detailed in the outline, but I definitely added more and even thought of an extra little scene that I could add into that chapter just to have more fun and to loop in some of the research that I had done on the Sacramento Underground. I didn't add in that scene yet because I didn't think of it until I was like wrapping up the chapter, but I put it in my brain dump for the next draft. So I'm excited about that. Yeah, it went really well. Once again, do not remember what tra chapter 25 is, so that'll be a surprise for all of us. Um, but I'm feeling good about having a really low expectation evening. Um, I will save the higher expectation word and chapter days for this weekend and just for tonight. Let's keep it cozy. This is a, a very liquidy mask. I'm already getting it like in my mouth. Why are the things that people tell me are relaxing never relaxing? This isn't relaxing. This isn't fun. This is messy and goopy and kind of not fun sensory wise. Oh my God. <laughs> Why did the neurodivergent chick think this was a good idea? I don't do face masks if that wasn't abundantly clear. And yes, I should be doing this in my bathroom. I'm also lazy. I am so shiny now. Um, I very much feel like uh, the entire top layer of my skin just got taken off, but um, also very smooth. So. I don't know if that was a success or not, seeing as it was kind of a nightmare to put on um, and um, wasn't my favorite feeling sensory wise. Although peeling it off was painful and satisfying. So, uh, not heading off in the most chill of directions for this evening, but um, now I'm gonna start writing. I also had this like fantasy where I was going to write with the, uh, the face mask on and then I realized I'm blind and can't wear my glasses with the face mask on, so I couldn't write while I had it on. <sighs> I'm a mess. Anyway, me and my very shiny skin are going to start writing now.
morning it is Sunday morning now and um, I didn't vlog at all yesterday uh, I didn't end up starting to write until after 11 o'clock and at that point I was so tired I worked on a video that you will be seeing this Friday um, for hours and hours <laughs> and I also had my college orientation yesterday um, and then we did grocery shopping and errands and so it was a very busy day and by the time I started writing I was just not in the mood to vlog um, I just wanted to get my writing done so I finished chapter 26 um, it was less than a thousand words it was like 960 or something like that um, so short chapter but I'm proud that I got it in even though it was very late um, but today I'm going to Panera with my mom and um, she has a bunch of homework to do. So I want to write three chapters. It's, I have three chapters left until the end of act two. And then, oh God, if I'm at the end of act two, then I will probably be able to finish the draft in the next week. So I'm excited. I'm finally out of the fun and games. Um, I think I'm in bad guys close in right now. Um, the main character is struggling. She just found out some really devastating news and it's just gonna get worse from here um, so i'm excited to get writing i need to finish um my protein shake and gather my supplies and then i'll be heading out to panera I'm back home now and I actually got two chapters done which is very surprising usually I don't get very much done when my mom and I do these working dates um, it's mostly just to get out of the house but today we were really productive um, I finished chapter 27 28 um, which means I am on the dark night of the soul which is the last chapter before act three so I am so excited I'm so close I'm definitely going to finish tonight and I'm so excited so yeah, I'm very proud that we got work done, especially because, oh my gosh, it was like every peewee soccer and little league team in Sacramento was at this Panera. There was at least three teams that showed up at different points while we were there. And it was so loud. Usually the Panera by my house is very chill. There's not a whole lot of people. Like it's, we go to the one by my house as opposed to the one by my mom's because it's usually more empty. But not today it was so packed and weirdly enough um my gynecologist uh sat at the table next to us so for the whole like at least half of the time we were there i kept like looking up i mean like i recognize you from somewhere and i don't remember where and then i remembered where and i yeah that was it was entertaining so anyway it was a good time i always really enjoy like getting together and working with my mom she is only a month away from finishing her master's degree so we won't have very many working dates coming up because she's about to graduate um i didn't realize that that's actually kind of sad um but um yeah so i had a good day i am now going to finish chapter 29 and finish act two i'm so happy to be almost done with act two. Oh my gosh that means act three. Oh, it's all happening so fast my goodness all right anyway i am scatterbrained let's start writing A 
And just like that, act two is done. I am so beyond happy to be done with act two. And really, I know that act three is going to fly by because it always feels like act two takes forever. And then act three is like a blink of the eye. Um, although this whole kind of draft feels like it's been going by really, really fast. And it has been because I started drafting on January 1st and now it is January 22nd and I am days away from finishing. So that's super exciting. All of that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here because uh, there's a lot of chores that I've been neglecting this week that I should probably get a start on. <laughs> and um, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good shit. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!